Welcome back, my name is Paul Smith. I'm a photographer based here in New Zealand. Today we're going to be carrying on with a series of videos that I've been doing over the last two or three years. And what we're going to be doing is looking back at an image I've taken previously and just telling the story about that picture. In this case, the image is a, is a 35mm analog shot. We're going to be heading into Lightroom and having a look at the original negative. I'm going to show you how I pretty much treat most of my film images uh, in Lightroom, how I go about processing them. And then once we've done that, we'll go ahead and make a print, which is what you should be doing anyway, is, is making prints. And I think this is one of the reasons why I like this uh, series of videos is because I get to make a print, which is something that I'm doing more and more on this channel. Uh, and I want to promote that whole idea of not only, you know, shooting photographs, but turning them into something tangible. So first things first, what we're going to do is go back to the day I took the picture, have a look at the footage and uh, set the scene for the whole thing and I guess tell the story of how this picture came about. But before we do that, uh, just a couple of things I need you to do for me. Uh, before we start, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, please, I'd really appreciate those two things. Also, when you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll get notifications of when I do a video. Um, those two things help me out immensely and I appreciate if you could do that. So um, grab yourself a coffee, a cold drink, whatever takes your fancy and join me for uh, a bit of a journey and a storytelling episode of uh, one of my pictures. Today I'm using is the Olympus OM 2N and on it I've got a 50mm Mzuiko 1.4 lens and today I'm shooting Ilford Delta 400 Pro. I'm basically going to shoot that at, I'm going to push it a stop up to 800. I love power poles, I just love the symmetry of power poles, power lines and stuff like that. Got a shot up here and it's a nice, we've got a nice shape to the hill. The sun's coming up and we've got silhouettes of the power lines, power poles, and there's a tree up there as well. So the idea about this shot, I've got the fence in the foreground, and then I've got this nice line of the hill behind it, um, which hopefully will silhouette, and I've got those three um, three power poles up there. I'm gonna move up a little further and see if I can get a different angle on that. Sun's a little bit high now, so it's probably going to blare out my. The only thing by shooting, I've pushed this film to 800. The only thing about doing now, it's really going to speed up my. Oh, there we go. Not too bad actually. There we go. That yeah, looks nice. Now I've got this tree. Tree in the tree is actually now that's a nice angle. That is nice. <laughs> And again, this time I'm a bit closer, I've just got the sort of the line of that hill, and I've got the, I've got the three power lines, and then I've got the tree nicely, nicely nestled in between it. I'm going to F16. Yeah, that'll do. I'm going to have to apologise for not explaining all my settings. Um... I'm not big on settings and stuff. This is worth taking two or three photos off. Um, for me, it's all about mainly, like I've said before on my videos, go back and have a look at some previous ones. And I, and I talked about the importance of emotion and photography. And, um, you know, that's what it's all about. It's not about f-stops. But just for the record, Film's pushed to 800. I'm at f16 this morning, and 1,000th of a second on this. So you know, and it's a nice shot. Oh, 
I'm just going to try one in portrait mode as well. Just, just to add it, just to mix it up a little bit. Just to mix it up a little bit. And this is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to use a lot of negative space in the top of the photograph. There we go. First shots of the morning. First shots of the morning. There you go. First shot of the morning. And I think if that comes out, it's going to be a good one. That's the story behind the picture. Um, interesting because, you know, picture today, still to this day, uh, I still love the picture. And I, I, I think not this image, but uh, the landscape version of this picture actually made my first book, Stolen Moments. And to this day, I think when I still look at that picture, it's still almost one of my favorite pictures that I've taken. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take that picture. I'm going to show you the original negative and uh, peel it right back. And we're going to have a look at how I process it in Lightroom. And, and the way I, I do this image pretty much goes for all my film photography. It's pretty much how I handle most of my film photography uh, in Lightroom. So let's head over to Lightroom. Let's have a look at the original negative. And I'm going to show you how I got that negative to the final picture. And then we're going to take the final picture and we're going to make a print of it. So let's let's go back. Let's um, strip it back to the original negative. So let's just reset this image. And there you go. That's the original image. So first of all, uh, something that I tend to do when I'm scanning is I scan in color. As you can see, this is in color. The reason I do that is because when I started scanning my film stocks, several people were giving the advice that you get more detail in your negatives if you scan in color. So the first thing that I would try and do with an image is to basically just balance it up a little bit as you can see here because we had really harsh light and I wanted that silhouette effect um, so we've got really a really contrasty image we've got blacks whites and a little bit in between but it's very contrasty so what we'll do first of all let's just balance it up just a little bit um, so then I can basically then just take the whole image and just just tweak it from there so first thing I'm just going to do the sky so I'm just going to run a linear gradient over that sky um, and I'll just maybe bring it down to there and I don't want to affect too much of that area there. So, and then just again tweaking exposure on that. I'm going to bring the, just the main exposure down a little bit, highlights down a little bit in there. Not too much. Again, I, I don't want to, I don't want to over process, keep it as, as clean as possible. So, um, don't think I want to do more. maybe just a bit more on the on the highlights. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's now put a linear gradient on the the bottom third on this area here. And what I want to do is I just want to bring out the shadow areas on that a little bit. So we'll just let's bring up this, but I don't want to I don't want to affect this area here. This this um, I'm just gonna try it again. If I just concentrate on the shadows, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect those highlights. Okay, so there I am. I, th I think that image is fairly well balanced now. So I've just brought up the shadows. I've brought down the highlights in the skies. I've just dropped the exposure a little bit. Brought up the shadows in the foreground, and that's pretty much all I'm gonna do with the masking at this stage. Okay. Let's then now turn it into a full black and white image. So let's have a look at the image overall now. So let's just again drop the highlights down a little bit more and we'll just bring up the shadows a little bit more. Not too much though. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna kinda blow it out, you know, I wanna just keep it subtle. Um, we'll add a little bit of clarity. Okay, I just wanna bring out that detail in the in the foreground. Um, maybe just add to the contrast by dropping the blacks a little bit. Bring out the shadows a little bit more while I'm doing that. Not too much, okay? Keep it like that. I'm going to add a sharpening mask onto the inner. Okay, I'm going to bring that mask up quite a bit, and then I'm just going to sharpen that off. And the final thing I'm going to do is I'm just I'm going to have a good look at the image and just put a little bit of nice reduction on there. 
And that, that's actually pretty much all I'm going to do. From here, what I'll do is I would take that into Photoshop and I'd go over the image um, and just clean up any dust or anything I've got on the image. Um, I would usually do that in Photoshop. For this exercise, I'm going to do that because it, there's not a lot of dust on this image. Um, it's pretty clean. As you can see, the, the, the negative is really clean. So maybe a little bit in here. So I'm just going to use the cloning tool here in Lightroom. You know, a lot of the times when you're doing scanned images, you know, you get a lot of dust on them. And Lightroom is not the place to, to take that dust, uh, to take those kind of blemishes off. I, I go to Photoshop, it's a lot more, uh, a lot quicker and um, does a better job. But in this case, because there's so little, um, you know, uh, artifacts, there's so few artifacts on the, on the actual negative, that it's actually pretty good. The only other thing I might do is just do a little bit of dodging and burning around this, this area here. Um, and it's just this very small thing, really. I just maybe just want to, just by doing this, what I'm just doing is just kind of just highlighting this area here a little bit more. It's just a, a small detail thing, really. Um, and we'll just tweak that around. I don't, I don't want, again, I don't want to, I don't really want to do too much on it. It's as simple as that, really. Um, and I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much ready to go to print now. Um, what I'm going to do before we take it to print, I'm just going to have a look at the image. I'm just going to explain to you why I think it works uh, from a, a compositional point of view. So let's have a look at that now. We'll take it into to Photoshop and um, have a look at um, why I think this is a good picture. And you can disagree or agree with me. Okay, so... I just want to explain to you why I think this image works. Um, like I said when I was taking the picture that I really wanted to to make the most of negative space in this in this picture, and I think it really, really works well for that reason. You know, I, I probably used a th at least two thirds of the image um, as negative space, and I think it's really accentuated the key parts of this picture. What I like about this image, there's a couple of things. The main thing really is just the way it flows. And you know, one of the reasons I like power poles is because for me, they actually accentuate the flow of the landscape. They almost like add key indication points to the picture and they just accentuate parts of the, parts of the image. But um, going back to this image, you know, one of the things I like is, is the flow here of the landscape. And the way it flows up from this power pole here to this power pole here. I just love that. And then we've got the power pole in the distance over here also, which kind of just, it adds like a ooh, another ping to the image. I love the tree in the center here. I think I think this also just, just makes the image pop. The other thing too that's interesting is that you've got this, like, you know, like this, kind of like this line here um, flowing through. And then you've got the, um, you've got these, um, fence post, this fence line here that, that also uh, adds for a nice kind of complement to the to the picture and they come through here. So you've got this just geometry. I like pictures that are simple. The less you put on a picture that doesn't need to be there, the better. I see a lot of photography and a lot of um, you know imagery that is just crammed full of too much stuff, too many lines, too many too many complications, you know, and like I say you can say more if you say less, so to speak. So enough waffling on about the picture. Let's make a print. Let's go and have a look at the print and then we'll come back and wrap up. Just love that picture, you know, making the print of it, 
just enhances it even more. As usual, that print will be available on my website. Uh, just a quick note on that, all prices that are shown on my website include free shipping anywhere in the world. So just be aware of that uh, when you're purchasing, the, the price that you see on the print uh, includes free shipping. Uh, link below for that and uh, I'll also put a, a link at the end of this video to my shop uh, where you can purchase that print. I think that's it for this episode. I really enjoy just sharing these the stories. I think I enjoy sharing the, um, it's quite nice having a look at individual images rather than like a, a group of pictures. You can talk a bit more in depth about why you like something and share the story a bit more in depth about that particular picture. Uh, I have to go now but before I do. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way you can do that is to buy my book, Incidents of Isolation. Or you can buy my print as well if you want to. Incidents of Isolation features both my film and digital photography. Uh, it's available from the website. I'll put a link below for that. I'll also put a link at the end of this video. Uh, like the print, please be aware that the price on those books includes free shipping. Also, if you have bought my books or you've bought prints and you still want to support my channel, I'm also doing a, a friend of the channel donation kind of thing. So you can head over to the website and uh, make a donation. A lot of people tell me they get a lot from the channel, um, relaxes them, uh, gives them inspiration for photography. They learn something. Uh, if you're one of those people and you'd like to contribute, if you want to help me continue making this uh, content uh, and uh, you don't want to go and buy a book or anything, uh, a donation would be fantastic. Uh, like I say, a link at the end of this video, I'll put a link below for that as well. You don't have to do that. Um, if you just want to just enjoy the content, that's fine. But uh, a lot of people want to contribute, which is really cool. Also, don't forget, if you uh, could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Really important, if you do nothing else today, is like the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Go check me out on Instagram as well. I'll put a link below for my Instagram feed. Go and follow me on Instagram. That's also something you can do that really helps me out, just just helps me to get my work out there into the, the world of social media, I guess. I think that's everything. I think we're covered now. I have to go. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Until I do so, hi there from New Zealand. Goodbye.